Alright guys, today I wanted to talk about a really awesome program um, that basically just, it basically just takes Duke Nukem 3D and just optimizes it for um, current PCs and Macs and uh, it makes it a lot easier to play. Um, it just it just improves upon the controls and the visuals and the sound for the game in like every way. So it 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 makes the game infinitely better. And um, you can think about this as kind of like a a Minecraft launcher in a way. It it like mods the game, um, but at the core it's still the same game. You still have to own the game, and that's basically what this is. You still have to own Duke Nukem 3D before you can get this. And uh, yeah, it's not a standalone thing. You have to own the game first. But I'm just gonna quickly show you guys the installation process, and then I'll play through a level of the game and show you guys. Um, how much better it really is. So, you just go to eduke32.com and uh, right in the middle of the page there's the download section and it's got Mac, Windows, so you're going to want to click on whatever operating system you have and it'll download that version for you and then once it's downloaded you open it up. It's a zip file so you will need some file folder opener thing <laughs> uh, like you know WinRAR to open the zip file. Um, but once you get in here all you're going to want to do is take the eduke32exe and drag it into whatever folder you downloaded the game into. So, if you bought it off GOG.com, um, which they do advertise here, um, and it's a really great website, I would definitely recommend it. If you haven't, if you don't own the game already, I'd definitely recommend buying it from them, because uh, it's DRM free. But basically, you just go to wherever it installed, so for GOG, uh, the default is in program files 86 and then you go into GOG.com and then Duke Nukem 3D and it's got all the things for the game and so all you're going to want to do is just drag the exe file into the folder hit continue there it is um, it's ready to go you press run it'll run the game uh, with the uh, new launcher so but if you don't have to go into here every time to play the game you're probably going to want to create a shortcut, so all you have to do, right click, hit create shortcut, place on desktop, and then rename it to Duke Nukem 3D. There we go. And then, if you're like me, I don't really like the uh, icon that they have here, so I went ahead and switched it to an icon I found online, and I just put it into the, the game folder, and all you have to do is click on it, hit OK, apply there you go you got a nice icon here so yeah that's basically it for the installation guys alright so we're here at the main menu and um, it's basically the same game um, except for the options have a lot more um, variety there's a lot more to fix and you, you can basically customize it to your playing style so there's game setup sound setup video setup which is probably the most important um, if you're playing on a pretty new PC, you're probably going to want to change the resolution to 1080p. And that's one of the really good parts about this version is that it supports 1080p. So um, it really makes the game look sharp. Even though it is a, a pixely game, it still makes it look really nice. Player setup, keyboard setup is so much better than the, uh, the retail version. You can change every key in-game instead of having to do it really complicated. Um, but yeah, let's just get into the game here, and I'll show you how much easier it is. Um, because with the original version, it actually, like, page up and page down made you look up. So see, that's what I'm pressing right now. Um, but for aiming, all you have to do now is use the mouse. And uh, so it plays almost like any other first-person shooter. Um, you use WASD to move instead of the arrow keys. Um, so it makes the default controls a lot easier to handle, and uh, it makes the game just easier to play in general. So, um, yeah, I could barely play the game, uh, the retail version, but this just makes it infinitely easier and more enjoyable to play, I think. Um, it also fixes um, aliasing issues and, like, screen tearing. Uh, you can see there's still a little bit, but not nearly as bad as... Um, you know, normal, because really it wasn't made for newer PCs, and um, but this program helps a ton with it, so 
it definitely optimizes it for newer PCs. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have Duke Nukem 3D on PC, I would definitely recommend you get this program. It makes it so much better. And uh, yeah, if you don't have it already, I get it and get this with it because it makes the game so much more fun. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching as always, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you next time.